Hey everyone, and welcome back for another plan with me. Uh, some of you really liked this format last week, so we decided, we decided, I decided to do this again because I'm using another beautiful Oh Hello kit with these beautiful terrarium turtles, that's what I'm calling them. I love this bottom washi with the like succulents on the back of the turtle, it's so cute and beautiful, and my computer is lagging at the moment, great. But yeah, I'm just using most of the elements of the kit here. So right here I'm putting down the dinner label or the meal labels for uh, marking dinners and then just filling in other places uh, that I have little things. Then I'm just going to do what I did last week and put in the headers and uh, yeah, the to-do headers. Sorry, I'm a little tired. But um, just mixing and matching the colors. You can color block with these kits because there's like the right number of uh, checklists and, and headers and everything. And then obviously you can color block the labels and the full boxes. But lately I've been really enjoying mixing up the colors. So you'll see I, I flipped back to last week to see like how I did that. And it didn't quite turn out the way... Uh, it did last week, but it still turned out really pretty, so I liked it. <laughs> Thumbs up. So yeah, I put the odds and ends header down at the bottom just because I didn't have anything going on on Monday to fill up that header or cover up that uh, bottom header, so I just put in the odds and ends header. And sorry that a lot of this is overexposed. It was a really strange day. It was like kind of cloudy, but kind of sunny, so I had to adjust the lighting as I went through. But yes, on Tuesday, I marked my class with the little books from the sampler. I hope you can see that vaguely. I turned down the exposure later, but for a couple of these clips, it's a little blown out. So sorry about that. It's hard with pastel kits, too, because it'll, like, be too dark if it's a darker color, but too light if it's a... If you know cameras, you know what I'm talking about. But yep, just going in with uh, setting up each of my days trying to figure out the color pattern. I kind of messed it up a little bit the second half of the week, but again, it turned out fine. So moving over to Thursday, again with the headers. I ended up getting Chipotle this day. I did not mark that here because I didn't know I was going to go do that, but um, yeah, I feel like the second half of my week always ends up way more filled in because like I'm going out and doing things, I feel like. This, the first half always turns out a little more plain. Is that the same for you? Yep, just checking my color pattern. It was all fine until, like, Friday, and then I messed it up. But again, it turned out okay. Basically, I was just picking one color header, one color checklist, one color uh, full box, and then whatever color was not represented there, I would use for the label. So again, marking my class on Thursday evening, or, yeah, Thursday evening with the books. There's only two books, so I only mark two of my classes with the books. I have a third class on Wednesdays. And then I put in a label to mark a club meeting for the English Honor Society that I'm joining. I figured I might as well join it. My roommate's the president of it, so like, why not? And I've got the GPA for it, so went to their meeting. And then this is where the color pattern gets messed up, because you'll see on Friday I put the colors that I used for Tuesday, and really it should have been the colors for Monday, but that's okay. All the colors are beautiful, so it turned out fine. I just had to make some adjustments. <laughs> Friday I had a very long day because I went to work in the morning and then I had training for my other job and it was payday for my other job, my internship. So that was exciting. So I got paid two weeks, two Fridays in a row, which is more than I can say for the last like six months of my life. And then you'll see here I'm like struggling to figure out how to fit these things in here. I put in a half box that I originally wrote relax on, but then Saturday morning Nathan was like, you want to go get coffee? And I was like, uh, yeah. So we went to Phil's, which was really nice. The Phil's in my town is nice. And then I put in a half checklist and it ended up marking down just like some presentations I need to work on. This week that we're currently in, that you're watching this video, uh, got lots of presentations coming out. I'm basically giving a presentation or, or there's something due like every day of this week. My voice is so scratchy, but now I'm just going in and writing things in like, hey, it's four weeks until my spring break. Now it's three weeks until my spring break. I'm very excited. Not that I'm going anywhere exciting, but like, it'll be nice to have some time off of classes and my main job. <laughs> 
And I think that's the week. I will just flip through what is left here. I ended up using the leftovers from this kit for this week. So you'll notice that I have, first of all, a lot of functional stuff. And then I have all the deco. So I just like to put those in places where I would normally put a full box. Didn't film this week, but you know. And then I'm showing you Nightingale Paper Co. book stickers that I bought five sheets of because I'm going to end up filling those in. And that is my week, so thank you so much for watching. I will chat with you next time. Bye!